Hello, my name is Dr. Quan McKenzie. I'm a medical director at the Center for Addiction and Mental Health and a professor of psychiatry at the University of Toronto. Welcome to this course on the mental health of refugees. As you know, worldwide, there are 10 million people who would be classed as refugees. All across the world, in every major city, there are refugees. Though the majority of refugees are in low-income countries, 23% are in high-income countries, and many come to Canada. Canada is one of the countries in high-income countries which really takes its um, responsibilities to refugees seriously, and so over 20,000 refugees come to Canada each year. Now, many health professionals feel that they're ill-equipped to deal with the health and the mental health needs of refugee populations. And that's not surprising. Refugee populations are diverse, and there are a number of factors which lead to higher rates of specific types of mental health problems. Some people talk about three different types of factors which increase the risk of refugees suffering from mental health problems. Those are pre-migration issues such as war, famine, torture, or sexual assault in, uh, before migration. Migration issues themselves, where people sometimes lose belongings, family, and friends, and connections as they uh, travel from their countries of origin to uh, the country of asylum. And then third, post-migration issues such as discrimination, difficulty in finding work, difficulty in navigating the system, all of which are very stressful. So these pre-migration, migration, and post-migration issues are all things which produce these complex risk factors that can increase the chance of somebody who is a refugee uh, developing mental health problems. But they're also important for us to try and understand when we're thinking not only of the causes, but also some of the solutions that we have to build. So this sounds complex. It sounds very complex. And that's why people feel that they're not really able to do the work. But actually, there's a huge amount of literature. Uh, there's a huge amount of tools out there that can help us. We have in the literature the knowledge of the type of attitudes that we need to produce successful mental health services uh, for refugees. We have the tools and the skills that can be taught to help produce better